Shelby, where do I even begin? When I first met you, we were only kids. At 16, I know that finding a partner for life wasn't my first priority. The only thing I did know, however, was that having the guts to sit next to the cute girl at the front of the classroom was a good thing, and boy was it ever. In life, I've come to know that the best things come from friendships, and that's how we started, best friends. Garrett James, my best friend, love of my life, and smooches. If someone would have told me our freshman year of high school that we would be marrying each other nine years later, I probably would have believed them. From the moment you helped me with homework during study hall, I knew you were special. Your patience and kind heart didn't go unnoticed. And I definitely knew you were a keeper when you watched Justin Bieber never say never on our first date without complaining. You have shown me what it's like to find your soulmate, what true love really is. From helping each other with homework or just cracking jokes, I enjoy nothing more than being in your presence. Your smile, kindness, and loving heart not only lit up every room, but inspired me to become a better man. And those qualities that made me fall so deeply in love with you then is why my love for you still grows stronger every single day. You are the most beautiful girl in the world, inside and out. I'm blessed that I get to call you my best friend and lover for life. Looking at you now on our wedding day, after eight years of loving you, how can I not consider myself the luckiest man in the world? Thank you for accepting me for who I am, for being a shoulder to cry on, and for loving me unconditionally. Our Father in heaven, you have created a good thing called marriage, and we are experiencing today your love and your joy, and we're asking a blessing upon this couple. We thank you for you, how you have worked in the lives of Garrett and Shelby to bring them together to this place. And we ask a blessing upon this day that for many decades to come, those of us who know them will see in these two a reflection of your joy, your love, and your faithfulness. As we start this new chapter in our lives, I promise to wake up every morning and thank God for giving me you. I promise to be kind, supportive, and loving for all the days to come. I promise to put our marriage and family first. I promise to stand by your side with whatever troubles and challenges life has to offer. And finally, I promise to be the wife you deserve. As we celebrate this beautiful day with family and friends, there will come a time where the glamour of it ends and the honeymoon concludes. I vow to love you through all of life's twists and turns and support you through it all. I vow to keep giving you the best back scratches when you're tired after work because I know you love those more than life itself. And lastly, I vow to love you with all of my heart through sickness and health for the rest of my days. Here's to forever. Now let's have some fun. It is now my privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Garrett Groninger. I can truly say Shelby is a sister I never had. My family has a nickname for Shelby and that's Sunshine because she is always so bright and warm to be around. I remember in high school when Shelby texted me about the cute guy in one of her classes. She always said how he was such a good friend to have, but we all knew it was so much more than that. Eventually, Shelby and Garrett's friendship grew into something so special. That's why we are all here today. If you know us, you know how close we are. And I've been nothing but blessed to have these two in my life, especially Garrett. I mean, I can't begin to. Oh. 
Nice. Well, not the Sludge <laughs> Baylor, but it is Garrett's day. But yeah, in good times, bad times, uh, uh, these guys have always been by my side. and I, I, I know I speak for Baylor and I both when I say that it's just been an absolute honor and privilege to have Garrett right by our side throughout our entire life. And we always say uh, cousins by blood and brothers by choice. I do want to thank Garrett for being one of the absolute best brothers that Peyton and I have never had. And thank you, Garrett, for bringing such a, a wonderful addition and our first sister-in-law in Shelby. Thank you for being the best boyfriend, fiance, and now husband to Shelby. I wouldn't wish anyone else to be with her for the rest of her life. And for that, I raise a toast to Shelby and Garrett, your new Mr. and Mrs. Groniger, to a life of happiness and love. Cheers.